One thing I've been wondering is, uh, it's been announced that Michael Socha from Once Upon a Time in Wonderland might be coming to the mom mothership. How is that going to work out? Is Anastasia coming with him? Um, I would say that that will be something that will be uh, for next season, and uh, we will deal with all of that when we get to it. And so, that, so hopefully, you know, we, we definitely... Um, we'll be answering those questions because he did he he would he did end up on Wonderland with her and so yeah no you know that falls firmly in the category of uh, the wait and see uh, we you know we, we love Michael and we I mean we he love is the idea fantastic of great so. to the show we're excited basically so you're saying that if you die on once upon a time that doesn't mean you can't come back well d death is pretty fun it is. <laughs> I, Michael didn't die, so, you know, he, You're thinking uh, of Michael Raymond James. The, yeah. No, right, we're, we're talking about Michael Soka from Soka. Wonderland. Sorry. Right. He did not die, but for a second there I thought, did we kill him? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. Sorry. Did we? Yeah. That was right. three weeks ago. I don't know. Did we? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Michael Soka, very much alive on Wonderland, uh, will be finding his way back to Storybrooke next season. Michael Raymond James, unfortunately, sadly, sadly okay. will live on in our hearts and flashbacks. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, will you be doing any other like one-off um, things, like Wonderland was? Uh, uh, that's uh, to be determined. Right now, we have no plans to. Right. Yeah. But never say never. Yeah. So this season, you guys had a really interesting dark take on Peter Pan. Yeah. Do you ever encounter any kind of pushback on what you want to do with some of these characters, or do you have free range? Okay. Well. Um, you know, early on we met with Disney and we kind of laid out our show to franchise and they understood that, you know, um, we were taking these beloved characters but, but kind of, you know, Snow White, we wanted to put a sword in her hand. We didn't want her to clean a dwarf's house. And they liked that and they've been really supportive. And once we added an eighth dwarf and killed it, they've been pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, Peter Pan, I think they liked the different take on it. It was a really interesting take. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, they've been very supportive in letting us kind of have some leeway and freedom to, to do our own expansion. And, you know, for us, you know, the for Peter Pan, we just naturally assumed anyone who wants to be 14 for the rest of their life, that's not a, that's not a healthy choice. That is easy to make a villain, but somebody like Ariel, you don't want to make a villain because that kills your hope. So um, each character we kind of look at from what's their spirit, and, and our take on Peter Pan was, you know, he was a sick 14-year-old. <laughs> How much should we fear Zelina now that she has a heart, courage, and a brain? A lot. Very much. <laughs> a lot. Look, I mean, she's got oh, dangerously close to everything she needs. So um, Except for one ingredient. Yeah, that's dangerously close. Um, no, she's she's a, she's a tough adversary. And we've seen she is, you know, she is a, she's a prodigy with magic. So... No, we're we're excited for the audience to get to see what what she's going to do. And next. you know, Rebecca has just, in our minds, just been stellar. Yeah. And so it's been really, yeah. So we we worked with her on Lost. We wrote the the part for her, and uh, it's it's really exciting. So are we going to see anyone else get turned into a monkey? Yeah, absolutely, we are. Next you, week. Are you asking us to do it right now? <laughs> Next uh, next week's episode, we will absolutely uh, we will absolutely see someone be made into a monkey. Monkey, monkey more monkeyification. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of next week with uh, Rose McGowan returning as young Cora, can we expect to see any more familiar faces returning before the end of the season? Um, uh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. 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 More familiar faces. Too. A lot more, actually. Yeah. Well, excellent. Can you tease any of them? Um, uh, if I can remember. Uh, <laughs> We will well, be seeing. There'll be more of Ruby and Red coming. Um, we're very, very happy to have her back. We're going to see some episodes. of our favorites from Storybrooke, um, and we are going to see Catherine return. Yay. Yes. Um, and there's some other people that I'll remember on the ride home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the Rapunzel episode I, I enjoyed. Oh, I kind of thank you. The, the kind of different take on her. Jake. And Josh was fantastic yeah. in that yeah. episode. Yeah. Great, great episode. Um, are we going to see more uh, Not soon, but we, we love Alex Metz, who played the part. Yeah. We thought she was great. And, you know, she's now in our repertoire of characters. Yeah, so you know, the, the, the thing about our show is we have so many characters that come in and out. The problem is uh, they're, they're all great actors, which means other people want them. So there are just cases of we would love to have this person, but they're on another show and we have to wait. So Megan Ori, for example, we had to wait till Intelligence was done to then bring her back. and. 
So um, that's kind of our, it's a dance. We always do to see who's available and how do you bring them in. And um, I've, I've been finding the Regina stuff that's happening to be stellar. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So, I mean, going into this, like, cause I, my, I think the, it, the linchpin moment was the, the showdown in the castle and the uh-huh. first thing. So how much of that have, were you anchoring to there? Was that the first thing that you wrote between them or was that? It was, it, was, it was very early in the conception for what this second half of the season would be. Yeah. So everything that I think you'll see play out toward the end of the season kind of is born out of that. We love the idea of the Wicked Witch versus the Evil Queen, but that scene in particular, what we loved is, how is Regina going to go on after she just gave up her child? She needs a new goal, and destroying someone would be that goal. And if it was her sister who kept poking at her, that's even better. And that's how it kind of it was born. So I noticed... Um, I noticed you blended um, both Dorothy and the Wicked Witch, kind of. She, she's the one who goes to Oz, and she's the one who gets the, the slippers. How did you come about um, making that decision? Well, that is uh, interesting. When you see uh, episode um, 20, which is entitled Kansas, you're going to understand more of why. <laughs> it's kind of um, wrapped in a spoiler, but there's a specific reason as to, yeah, as we, to why. We get, it, we get a little bit more into uh, Zelina's past. We're going we're gonna to meet the uh, Glinda. We're going to meet Glinda next week, but um, uh, and next week is really probably my favorite Snow Charming story ever that's really going to uh, show you what happened in the last year. What kind of teasers can you give us for tomorrow night's episode in particular? So we can write preview articles. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna find out the answer to why uh, Cora gave up Zelina, and um, we are going to get a really great one of the best uh, Regina Mary Margaret scenes we've ever done. Yeah, we feel well. We feel like we it's. It's a, a wonderful Regina Mary Margaret story where we start to explore stuff in their relationship that we've only touched on in the past. So we're excited about that. Are we going to find out who Zelina's father is? Yes. Is it somebody that we already know? It is uh, not somebody that you know. It is somebody that you met. But what's more important is less is who her father is than who he was not. Oh my god, it's so cryptic. <laughs> well, it, we're airing it in 10 minutes, so you only have to wait a hallway. So, as cryptic as you're being, can you tease whatever big thing might be coming in the season, season finale? I would Wait, say we could, we could uh, yes, they all die. Yeah. <laughs> the season finale this year, we, we hope, wraps up all the mysteries of this half of the season and the whole season, the season as a whole. Go ahead. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, there's. there's uh, we hope we hope it does it in a, in a very surprising way and takes you to a very surprising place. We, you know, this year we have a two-hour movie for the finale, and it is not two episodes that were put together on one night. We wrote it as a two-hour movie, and we think that we, what we are uh, showing you is something the fans have always wanted but didn't realize it, and we think everyone will be surprised where we take you. Do you already have plans for next season? We have half of a plan. We, we, um, in between seasons, we do what's called mini camp, where for two weeks all the writers meet in Blue Sky. Um, last year, we that's where we came up with Neverland first half, Wicked Witch second half, and we are one week into it. So we yeah. have sort of plans. But to also answer that question, seeds of it are in the finale this year. Oh yes, we could tease that seeds of it are in the finale yes. this year. We, might they involve any big guest stars or anything like that? Oh, oh wow. Well. You know, we don't want to spoil, but we'll just say that there's seeds of it. In the <laughs> um, and also, I, I, the kind of breakup of sort of two connected arcs. Right? That's yes, that's, yeah, that's, we love that's, it. That's, yeah. We love doing it that way, and we hope to continue doing it. Like I think it. that, you know, one, one thing that we learned um, is in today's world, it is very hard to stretch one story for 22 episodes, and uh, the patience level, It's as writers, it is so great to be able to say, we're just doing two seasons every year. And also to be able to just air them continuously, so yeah. as viewers, you can get traction and just not have to worry about when it's on and remembering what happened. Because we, we very much, when we do have a week off or whatever, we write to the break, so when the schedule has changed from us, you may not want to, you know, you want to end on a cliffhanger, you want to end on a resolution, you don't want to end on, wait, no, wait, that wasn't, that was meant to be in between two. 